for this problem is obviously, guys, we see that we have the sum of two angles for cosine, and we have the difference of two angles for cosine as well. So again, I'm just going to write down the formulas to make sure that we're using the correct ones. But we're going to have to apply this twice. So the sum of two angles, cosine of u plus v, the formula is cosine of u times cosine of v minus sine of u times sine of v. And then the difference of two angles is going to be cosine of u minus v. This is going to be cosine of u times cosine of v plus the sine of u times sine of v. Right? Those are your two formulas. You'll be provided with them. But now what we need to do, um, Ahmad, is be able to substitute our values in. So what we need to do, since we're going to be doing this twice, we need to label our u and our v. Our u and our v. All right? So now. Let's go ahead and plug in our values for each one of these. So I'll do the sum first, which will be, actually, let me do it back. So I have cosine of x times the cosine of pi over 4 minus the sine of x times the sine of pi over 4. Whenever you're taking the difference of two expressions, please use parentheses so you do not Make do, you do not forget to distribute that negative. Therefore, this is the cosine of x times the cosine of pi over 4 uh, plus the sine of x times the sine of pi over 4. And that all equals 1. Do you guys see how I use my parentheses? Do you guys see that? Because then, as I apply distributive property with these parentheses, if I'm going to eliminate the parentheses, I need to make sure I distribute the negative sign to both of my terms. So now that's negative. And now that's negative. Right? I distributed the negative sign to both of them. So now, before I go and evaluate, I notice that I have a couple terms that are actually going to add up to 0. Right? So the exact same expression, one's positive, one's negative. So it adds up to 0. Then I have two expressions that are exactly the same. So I can combine them to negative 2 sine of x sine of pi over 4 equals 1. Right? Just like x plus x is 2x, sine of x sine of pi over 4, or minus, and then minus sine of x pi over 4 is going to be 2, minus 2 sine of x sine of pi over 4. Does everybody see how I did that? Now let's evaluate for sine of pi over 4. So we go back to our lovely unit circle. Look at the first quadrant, because that's where pi over 4 is. That angle is square root of 2 over 2, comma square root of 2 over 2. Therefore, the y-coordinate is square root of 2 over 2. So I have negative 2 times the sine of x times the square root of 2 over 2 equals 1. Now, if you don't see why these multiply, multiply out, part of the reason is because you could be not seeing. But we can rewrite this. Now, let me still use brown. I could rewrite this as negative 2 times the square root of 2 over 2 times the sine of x equals 1. Now, that might be a little bit easier for you guys to see. Oh, yeah, that doesn't really matter. So now I can see why those divide out. Right? They divide to 1. So now I'm finally left with a negative square root of 2, um, square root of two times the sine of x equals 1. Divide by negative square root of 2. Divide by negative square root of 2. Sine of x equals 1 over negative square root of 2. Again, I'll show you the work. Rationalize the denominator. Therefore, my final answer for my function is sine of x equals negative square root of 2 over 2. All right, but again, we're trying to find the values of x. right? So we need to isolate the x. So therefore, we need to determine, well, what are all the values when sine of x equals negative square root of 2 over 2 between in our constraint of 0 and 2 pi. Well, we know at pi over 4, it's positive square root of 2 over 2, right? Pi over 4, 2 pi over 4. At 3 pi over 4, it's still my y coordinate is still going to be positive. But then if I go down here and down here, I'm going to have two points, right? Where it's going to be negative, right? Because the y coordinate is negative in the third and the fourth quadrant. So now I just need to determine, well, what is that angle and what is that angle? Well, if that's pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, I have 5 pi over 4. 6 pi over 4, 
seven pi over four, eight pi over four. So seven pi over four is my other answer. And there you go. Cool. Any questions?